Live streaming of SDR news coverage at HP Discover has been made possible by Intel Corporation. Check out Intel Open Port IT, where you can connect with your peers at Intel on industry topics, best practices, strategies, and more. And by Microsoft, where HP and Microsoft are working together, combining their respective strengths to deliver innovative technologies to help advance your business. Welcome to our continuing coverage here at HP Discover. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News, and we're talking about the transformation of the network. This is all a part of HP's uh, objective of defining a new style of IT. And we're pleased to have, again, Yannick Bufari, uh, who is talking with us on some pretty deep technical uh, subjects in previous interviews. But I think here, this is more of a, of a management vision discussion yes. about this transformation. That's correct. Andy. How does this apply to networking, to the network itself? So it, we are in a position right now where the world is getting more and more interconnected, right? We have billions of devices that are all coming online. So what we're going to talk about today is what does it mean to transform your connectivity landscape? And how do you turn the network into a business enabler? But 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 the network now is is it's it's really rigid as far as people build, add capacity. You got a problem? Add more capacity. Yes, and, and, you and are and absolutely right. It's not sustainable. Right. right. That, that's exactly the problem. Is that today's network are over provisioned and underutilized? It means that the only answer that network IT has to the business is throw more capacity. And what we're seeing is a, is a problem, is that the business know the network is very complex. The business know the network is over-provisioned and underutilized. So the business know has a lot of capex tied to the network that they're not getting, ripping the right ROI out of. So all of this leads to how do I get agility from this over-provisioned, underutilized network? How do I deliver what the business needs, when the business needs it, to deliver my business. Well, one of the things that I thought particularly interesting in uh, in the opening keynote, Kevin yes. Bacon came out and we talked about the, the, the famous six degrees of separation and so forth, but the theme was that uh, with the pace of uh, connectedness that we have in our society, it's not six, it's uh, right. less than 4.7. <laughs> yes. And actually, by the end of, the, of, of his uh, discussion, we were approaching zero. That's correct. What are the implications for the network to respond to that? And so it's, it's a huge implication. Everybody assumes the network can deliver this connectedness, but we know there are changes that need to occur. As, you know, IT changes, technology changes, but people and process changes to actually adapt and deliver on this vision. So it's very important, and this is why we're here today, to talk about this transformational journey. Where are you right now? What is it that your business needs and how to get there? So having this transformation vision and journey is absolutely fundamental. It is a step everyone needs to take today So, so you to have get to have there. the definition of this, the network as it is exactly. and a vision exactly. of, of what it is to be. Exactly. So you, you need to understand where you are today. You need to understand your pain points what you're striving for, how can you turn IT from this complex, IT being the network in this context, from this complex set of interconnected things to this agile, flexible environment so that the business can say, I need this now and you can turn this in minutes versus having to run around and discover how can you deliver capacity without asking for more expenses to deliver so, that so functionality. So how does, does HP help uh, clients to to uh, facilitate this conversation it, it really the thought process exactly. behind it. So we have a workshop that we call the Transformation Experience Workshop. It's a methodology that we apply across the IT ecosystem. So we have one applied to connectivity. Notice we use the word connectivity and we don't use the word network because that's the technology behind connectivity. That we do this methodology that actually explain to a customer in their own term how to extract the business value from transforming. If they continue with the status quo process that and, they're going and under, approach. they're never going to yeah. get the ROI 
that they need to get so that their business can be agile and just always on, right? We are in an environment right now where the network is assumed to be always on and always connected. And the problem that we have is that it is not the case. We've got you know, multiple access media. We've got Wi-Fi, everything is becoming Wi-Fi. We've got cellular, we've got wireline. How do you gel all of this complexity yet deliver this capacity and this utilization. What we see right now is the network is not utilized because why? Every time we have a problem, we throw more bandwidth at this problem. We don't think because we don't know how to but, re redefine the network but, to deliver but, this. But it's a good thing you, you, you are at least have bandwidth to throw at it because I, an earlier interview today that we're talking about, uh, and I, I think I recall the number of, of 10 billion devices today, 30 billion devices within another five, six yes, years. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's um, uh, an incredible growth that has to be accounted for. That is ex an extremely important point. So, you know, I'm talking to you about this transformational journey, but if it was just a transformational journey and the technology wasn't any enabling that transformational journey, it wouldn't be sufficient. So what we, what is so special about where we are right now is technology on, on the networking space has risen to the level that we need, the flexibility level we need to actually deliver the vision, the connectedness that we all require. What are these technologies? We have things like software-defined networking, which delivers the programmability of the network so that the flexibility we spoke about can be delivered to the business. But, but right? right now, that's hard-coded into most devices. That's exactly true. So by true. definition, you're over-provisioned here and you're under-provisioned Exactly. There. So you don't know how to adapt your capacity to where the business needs that capacity. So really, it's all about understanding. So now, of course, this is going to imply change for the process. It's going to apply change to the people. So how do you deliver a set of value add to the business, which for them feel like I can chew that step, right? Maybe I have BYOD that I want to deliver. That is something that I can manage. Or maybe I want to establish a presence because this is what my business needs right now. So what are the low hanging fruit that I can deliver through this transformational chain where the business feel comfortable, they're taking a step towards this angle, but it's a concrete step that delivers business ROI. So one of the foundational technologies, software-defined networking, Absolutely. what yeah. are some other technologies that are just crucial in making this happen? Right, so what we see as technology enablers, we have IPv6 because that delivers the sheer, uh, the, the answer to that sheer number of things that needs to be interconnected, right? trillions of things, it's just not going to make it with IPv4. Then you got the programmability that SDN brings in, but then you have other things like optimization, virtualization, cloud. Cloud allows you to have this agility that you just can't have in in-house. So everything together, the IT landscape is ripe and is ready to enable that transformation, but you do need to take that journey. The problem that we have is that Businesses don't want to take that journey because they don't know how to get from A to B. And in order to get from the as-is to B model, you need to understand the as-is model. You need to define domain you want to tackle so that, as I said, it's not a full, I'm throwing everything up in the air and I'm hoping it's going to fall back in place. You, man you create these domains where you manage the transformation and then you build on each transformation to get you to that to B state. So, so that's really the, the comprehensive view of yes. this defining the, the new IT. That's correct. Now, a number of networking resources at HP, and we need to be careful because uh, if you're looking for equipment, there's one uh, uh, go code for that, and that is um, uh, hp.com slash networking, correct? That's right, okay. that's right, that's the product. That's the, that's, the first, that's the product. The second one has a star, <laughs> On the on the page, that is networks. That's right. That's network services. That's the consulting services arm of uh, our product. Exactly, side. and I can remember the last one, which is for software-defined networking, is uh, go slash SDN. So again, 
don't be afraid. It is time and technology is now at the same level that our server and storage are, is that we can now deliver on the vision of agility and just-in-time IT, right? The, you know, I have a story actually around the, the network IT guys have always been the guys in the back room, right? Those that really are not understood by the general population. You talk to them through the server guys or the storage guys or even the apps guys and then you throw over the wall saying this is what I need from the network. I need this number of cords, I need this number of IP address. That communication channel today is totally changed because Consumer, they, you know, IT needs to understand that they are holistic, right? IT is no longer network and just storage or just servers. It's how the whole IT ecosystem works together. And then you've got the user, which is all of us, which have this awesome experience in the consumer landscape that are demanding the same thing on the enterprise, right? So understanding what the consumer wants, what your user wants, what your partner wants, and how you deliver this is all part of your transformational journey. Yeah. So it is time to bring everything on par to deliver and that story. And by definition then, defining a new style of IT. That's Yannick, correct. Always a pleasure. Always oh, a pleasure here. to same talk here. with you. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks You're to welcome. you folks for joining us as well in our uh, continuing coverage here at HP Discover in Las Vegas. Thank you.